Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Just waking up, cup of sunshine, waking up. It's been a couple days, I know. Just like I said last time, but guess who's completely healed? This chick, she's completely healed. She's all good. She's healthy as wood that she's leaning her chin on. How's it going today, guys? We're gonna have a crazy awesome video for you. I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how to potty train your Siberian Husky or your dog, either one. Doesn't matter what kind of dog you have, but if you have a Siberian Husky, it does help. Also, it is a little bit funner. When you come home with a dog, it is really, really, really difficult to make that transition, to adapt, to find that point in your life where you and your dog are both happy. And that cannot really happen until your dog is potty trained. Now I know some of you guys have to go to work all the time, some of you guys are really busy, so it is more difficult to potty train your dog in some cases because you just, it is hard to find the time. But there are a couple tips and tricks that you can take so that you can potty train your dog in no time. So here are the few, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me get that paw. Let me get that paw. Good girl, that's a good high five. Can I get the other paw? Good girl, that's a good high five. He's stand? <laughs> look at her, look at the camera. Like, bro, you doing this for money? You doing this for money, bro? Go ahead, stand. Good girl, that's a good girl. So the tips and tricks I'm gonna teach you today are freaking priceless, I'm telling you guys. It's going to help your dog learn how to be potty trained ASAP. So let's say you're bringing home a baby pup, a baby Siberian Husky. They're chilling in your home. They're peeing all over your floor. There's a mess right here. There's a mess right here. There's a turd over there. There's a piss in the corner. What are you going to do? The first thing you are going to do, my friend, is get yourself in your car and go to Walmart. That's the first thing you need to do. What you need is two things. Bells. Now you can find these super inexpensive at Walmart, and you're also going to need some sort of string. You can use any sort of string, really. It can be twine, it can be rope, whatever you want. I went to a fabric store and I chose uh, like tassel rope. So it's just whatever you wanna use. So what you're gonna do basically is you're gonna take that bell and you're going to take the string or the rope that you've attached the bell to, and you're going to come over here, either to your front door or your back door, wherever your dog likes to do his or her little business. You know what I'm talking about? And you are gonna put the string around the doorknob. Look at them, they're like, are we going outside? Are we going outside? Not right now. You're gonna put the string and the bell around the doorknob, okay? It's going to hang down. Make sure that it hangs down where your dog's face is. Now look at Gila, she's an adult dog now. So her face is coming about yay high, okay? When you have a puppy, it's gonna be way down here. So make sure that that rope is hanging a little bit lower if it's a young, young dog. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the rope and the bell around the doorknob. Every single time you take your dog out to use the restroom, you are going to ring that bell. You're just gonna ring it. Don't worry, they're not going to ring it the first time. They're not gonna ring it the second time. They are not going to ring that bell the 29th time. Every time they have to use the restroom and you take them outside, you ring that bell. And they will start to understand that that bell means potty time. You take your dog out several times a day. You are going to be doing this a lot, three, four, five, especially if you have a puppy, you're gonna be doing it all the time, almost like every two hours or so. All right, look at these dogs, They're just like, we already went over this. We already know the potty dance, daddy. I'm just explaining it to you two, because they need some help. Eventually, your dog is gonna go up to that bell and they're gonna ring it themselves. And they're gonna be like, yo, this is me indicating to you that I have to use the potty, Brosif, and you are going to be happy because instead of your animal going and using the bathroom on the floor somewhere, instead of getting up and, and buying a dictionary, learning the English language and saying, excuse me, mommy, excuse me, daddy, I need to go to the bathroom. You are just gonna have a system that tells you anytime your dog has to pee or poo. Once they get a hang of it, it's gonna take a little bit of time, 
but let me tell you guys, eventually they just automatically did it. They just came over here on their own and they were like ringing the bell every single time they had to use the restroom. So guess what? You're probably thinking to yourself, come on 60, I don't wanna have a bell hanging from my front door for the rest of my life. My people coming over here like, dude, what is this thing? What's going on? Guess what? Eventually, your dogs aren't even gonna need the bell because you can remove it entirely and they will start to tap their nose on the front door. This will become their bell. Either they will jump up to reach it or they'll just reach it themselves. Hela can reach this with her nose herself. And I will show you guys how she tells me how she wants to go to the bathroom. I've recorded it a couple times and I will insert those clips right now. So there you go. That is what they will basically do. I mean, she just comes up to the door. She hits the doorknob. I hear it every single time. And basically, I open up the door. Potty, go ahead. And they're off. A couple other things, guys, that you want to not practice. It's almost things you don't wanna do rather than things that you should do. Do not use pee pads. Never buy your dog pee pads. Urgh, don't, don't do that. Pee pads are really bad. See, what pee pads do is they encourage your dog to use the restroom inside. They tell your dog, hey, go in the corner. As long as there's like a piece of paper on the floor, you're allowed to piss in my area. Don't use those. They're really, really bad. I know people wanna use them because they have to go to work. They're afraid their animal's gonna go on the floor. Try to avoid that. When your animal becomes an adult, they will be able to hold their urine and their poo for a really, really long time. But if they're just a puppy, you're just gonna have to get over it and clean it up, but don't use the pee pad. You guys wanna come on back inside? Come on back inside, let's go inside. All right, guys, I hope those tips helped. Just a couple things to steer you in the right direction. When it comes to potty training your animals, you don't want them going to the bathroom in your house. And you really, really, really want to set up a system where they're able to communicate to you. That's the best way I have come up with in order to understand my dogs and their needs. And you should try and implement something like that. You should never just try and guess when your animal has to use the restroom. You never know. They may have to have an emergency poo. And how would you know if the bell doesn't help you? <laughs> Get out of my face. This is Britney Spears, one of the most beautiful men ever to ever see. Not to be confused with the pop artist Britney Spears, but the famous, the most famous husky in the world, Britney Spears. Yes. Everybody asks me why his name is Britney Spears. Why you call him that? Because everyone tells me to leave him alone. Everyone says, leave him alone. Leave him alone. So that's why one day I said, you know what? You are just like Britney Spears. But you are better, baby. You are hotter. You are meaner. You have just the raw, raw, raw that you need to have. Raw, ha, ha. Oh my god, giddy. Oh, he doesn't like it. Oh my god, giddy. Oh my god, giddy. Oh! Oh my god! Hey everybody, just wanted to thank you again. We have reached over 1,000 subscribers, something I never thought was possible. I love you guys so much. You guys are really awesome, and I could not even do this channel without your support. So really, down on my knee, I'm on one knee right now, right here with Hila and Brittany, and we thank you so much for all the subscriptions, all the comments, all the likes, all the feedback you guys give to us on a daily basis. You guys rule. I hope you guys will continue to come, hang out, ride motorcycles, hang out with the Huskies, check out cool collections. Again, guys, you all rule. I can't wait to shout out my newest subscribers in the next video. I hope you'll stay tuned. We should do it. No, get my face. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I'm getting eaten by a Husky. I'm getting eaten by a Husky. Oh my God, I'm getting eaten by a Husky. All right, guys, I gotta go. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with whatever I make. Peace.